himself. Right, okay. <laughs> You can let me know when you see folks. You're talking so good. So I'm just gonna welcome everyone. I, I think there's a few folks still um, beginning to enter, but um, given that we have so many people on and um, we need to be in prayer, I wanna thank uh, everyone who is, is showing up. In particular, I want to uh, acknowledge any community uh, family, in particular family members who are on and really appreciate you being here and, and listening, uh, being with us in prayer. And um, I'm now going to turn it over to our moderator, uh, Deacon David Purvo of the AUBA. Thank you. And is Deacon David on the line? I haven't seen him in the list yet, Angela, so. Maybe we're just waiting for a few more folks to come in. Yeah, I'll keep it on there. I like seeing him there. A lot of allies on too. Okay, so I think Deacon David is um, in, we'll just give him the capability to unmute. Um, that's what he's asking for. So again, I want to welcome everyone. My name is, um, for those folks who don't know, uh, Angela Simmons and a community uh, member and also the MLA for the Preston area. And um, I've been thinking about how we can show up and support community. And so I want to thank those who have helped me collaboratively put this together and um, again, want to really extend my uh, condolences and, and thank um, and acknowledge any family members who are on this call and, and hopefully this prayer will uh, be able to resonate with you. We have several pastors, which I'm really happy to see and I'll turn it over again if um, Deacon David is able to be unmuted now to um, as the moderator of the AUBA and uh, thank you everyone for being here. Ms. Angela, I just received a message from Deacon Davis saying that he is still muted. Um, so can you give me his name so that I can unmute him? Because I can't yeah. find him. There's like 400 people online. Sorry. Yeah, I can't find him either.
Deacon David, will you just raise your hand and then we'll be able to find you very easily. The raise your hand is under the reactions button in case you can't find it. Go under reactions and it says raise hand and you'll come to the top of our screen so we can see you. Or tell us what your login name is. Put it in the chat. Oh. We have news media on the line too. Does anybody want to address them in any way before we start? Um, if your hand's raised, you should be able to unmute now. iPad 3, okay. He says he's iPad 3. Let's see if we can go find him. You should be able to unmute now, Dick and David. iPad 3. Vanessa, did you unmute the mic? Is. No, I didn't. I'm admitting people. Deacon David, can you type in the chat if you can unmute now, please? Vanessa, can you go try to unmute him? I tried to, but it's still saying muted. Now he's gone. I just made him a co-host, so he should be able to unmute himself. It's just hard to find him with no name. Oh. Well, perhaps while we're waiting, I'll ask. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Oh. Okay. Finally, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Can I get started? Can I get started? Deacon David, you're breaking up. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get started. Good evening, my name is Deacon David Provo, the moderator of the African United Baptist Association. And I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of the African United Baptist Association, the clergy, our 19 churches across Nova Scotia, executive members, myself and my wife 
to pass on our deepest condolences to the family of Myanmar. Myanmar. We know that this is an extremely difficult time, and we're just here to offer our support and our prayers um, this evening to you to let you know that we are supporting you and we are here for you. And at that, I will pass it on to Reverend Wallace Smith, pastor of St. Thomas Baptist Church, to open us up with our first with our prayer. Is Reverend Wallace Smith in? I have not seen Reverend Wallace Smith on uh, participants yet, unless he's under, not under his name or pastor. So he's not in the in the participant list right at this he, was, he did call me and say that he was in the waiting. So we'll just move on to uh, Reverend Lloyd Grant. Reverend Wallace is there now to speak. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you this evening? We're good, thank you. Good. So are you waiting to hear from me? We are. You, you're on now, Reverend Wallace. Okay. Um, well, let me just take this uh, opportunity to thank all of you for um, being a part of this uh, visual. And um, I could just let you know that I did speak with the family on yesterday. And uh, they're doing fairly well despite uh what has happened to the little eight-year-old and i'm sure they will be thankful to know that this is being put on for them so i want to thank you once again and um hopefully um you know our prayers can be um strong and encouraging to help them get through this awful thing that they are going through right now so i appreciate uh, your concern let us pray Gracious God and loving Father, we thank you for your goodness, for your mercy, and for your grace. We realize that in times like these, we need a Savior. We thank God for Jesus Christ. Lord, you know what has happened to this family, and we are asking you, Lord God, that you would strengthen them and give them the peace that only you can give, the peace of God which uh, transcends all situations, uh, the peace of God, Lord God, that helps us in our time of need. And Lord, if there was ever a time that they needed you, they sure do need you now. We are saddened because of the tragedy of this young boy, eight years old, uh, taking a bullet for someone else. But Lord God, we know that you are the great physician and that you are the great healer and uh, you will heal them in the days that lie ahead. So we pray God tonight that even in their mourning and their time of sorrow and sadness, that you would be around and about them, bless them and let them know that you made a promise that you would never leave them nor forsake them. And so Lord God, I pray that you would just bless this session this evening because we ask it in Jesus' precious name, amen. Thank you, Reverend Wallace. You're welcome. Is Pastor Grant available to speak next, please? Thank you. Pastor Joyce Ross is, is on the line as well. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Can you all hear me? Yes. 
Thank you. First, I would like to offer my condolences to the family as pastor of the East Preston United Baptist Church. We are deeply saddened by the loss of this young child. And we want you to know the family that we are all praying for you that God will get you through this one day at a time because we know it's gonna take time, but God is there for you. My prayer tonight is a short prayer on prayer for peace. Lord, we come before you ready to pour out our hearts and our worries and our anxieties and our fears at your feet. We are claiming and declaring your promise for blessings of peace and strength over our life. Lord Jesus, please bring peace into our soul that passes all worldly understandings and makes a light for others to see your strength. Lord, we're in need of your peace, the truth, that soothes our hearts and our spirits right now. Right now, Jesus, we need you. We need to be reminded of your constant peace, healing and grace. We ask you mightily power to surround us. God, we are so blessed that we can call on you right now to bring peace, because if it's ever a time that we need peace in this world, <clears throat> excuse me, it is now. <clears throat> we ask Lord Jesus for your abundant peace. Upon this family tonight, we ask for peace of mind for our souls and our spirit. We want you to heal and remove everything that is causing stress, grief, and sorrow in our lives and in our community. And all over this world, we need peace because this world is in a state of confusion. Please, Lord Jesus, guide us through our life and make our enemies be at peace with us. Let your peace ring in our family and our peace of work business and everything that we lay our hands on. Let your angels of God go ahead of us where we go out and stay by our side when we return to each other, standing by the sides of our brothers and sisters, pleading for peace. Hear us, O oh Lord, in our troubles, give us spiritual guidance and give us eternal peace through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. 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 On behalf of myself and my husband and family, we offer condolences to the family tonight. We look to and give all praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. Let us pray. God, our eternal Father, our Creator, we come to you tonight with thanksgiving for who you are, that you are a God that we know is faithful and steadfast and that we can come to. For indeed you have promised that you will never leave nor forsake us. Oh, Father God, we also offer thanks for the light, for the light of little Marmar and all that he gave and received in love in this world. Now, Father God, we give you thanks that his life, even though it was short, touched so many and had an impact. We thank you for his loving heart, for his love of being in nature, his love of surfing, oh Lord, and for his relationships tonight with his teachers and his classmates. So Father God, as we concentrate on them, Lord, we ask today that you would touch all the educators involved with his young life. Father, give the teachers as they continue to lead and give support to his schoolmates, to his classmates, the strength and the grace to sustain them in the coming days. Father God, we pray for all of his classmates and the entire school community of Nelson Winder tonight. Oh, Father God, Touch them with your peace. Touch them with your comfort, we pray. Oh Lord, as we enter this time, Lord, we know that we might not have the answers, but Father, answer our weakness with your strength, our despair with your hope. Lord, our grief with your comfort. Hear our prayers, Father, we ask tonight. Lord, touch each one where they need you. Lord, embrace them with your love. And Lord, we pray this prayer in the name of your son, Jesus. 
Amen. Amen. Uh, good evening, everybody. I, I want to um, just offer a prayer for the youth and young people in our community. So let's, uh, let's join our hearts together in prayer. Uh, Father in heaven, um, we thank you for the promise of your presence that is with us. And God, our prayer simply tonight is that you would have mercy. Uh, have mercy on us. Have mercy on this family who is grieving, who is hard broken. Um, have mercy on our community who is also trying to wrestle and make sense with such a, a tragedy that in times like this, God, often our words uh, fall short in trying to make sense and deal with grief and pain this deep. God, we don't understand why a life is snuffed out so young. Mm. Um, Lord, we don't understand why senseless violence happens where innocent, an innocent child's life is taken. God, we don't understand why things like this happen in our world, in our community. Um, and so, God, we just ask that you would have mercy. We just offer you our grief today. God, we offer you our anger. Lord, the truth is that many of us are are angry about this. God, myself included, I can only imagine the anger and frustration of the family. Yes. But God, we pray that our anger would be used and be expressed in expression ultimately of a desire to see justice, that our anger would be a representation of our desire for your righteousness to be evident in this situation. And so God, I pray specifically for our youth, um, God, I pray that for young minds and young people who are trying to make sense of the pain and the frustration of this situation, God, I pray for young people and youth and even those close to the family who may want to retaliate with violence and retaliate uh, for an eye for an eye. And God, I pray that your justice and your peace would prevail in this situation. God, I pray that that we would entrust uh, your justice to, to law enforcement and that you would be with the, the police to try and figure out a way to bring those involved in this to justice. And God, we just pray that, that in, as we wait for that, as we anticipate that, as we believe that you will make this right, Lord, we just pray that you would hold the place of anger and just confusion and disillusionment that this has created for many of us in our hearts. And God, I pray specifically that you would just give our youth hope and and that this would actually be a catalyst moment where we see this, this young child's life as a wake-up call to our community that we need mm -hmm. to do better, that we need to have more care and consideration and compassion for one another, that we need to take back our community against the gates of hell and evil that try to prevail against it. And so, God, I just pray right now that you would empower us by your spirit to, mm. to be bold and to resist evil, resist violence, resist things that are not and should not be tolerated, that don't reflect mm. your kingdom and your justice. God, would you just give us courage to, to confront these things that we, these issues that we know or exist in our community. And God, I pray that you would give youth um, healthy and productive tools to take their anger, to take their frustration and use it for good, to use it as an extension of love for one another. And so God, we, we are entrusting this situation into your hands because God, you're the only one that can make this right. And so Lord, we pray that you would just, <clears throat> again, have mercy on this situation have mercy on our community and god we pray that that you are sovereign and that you are in control and that you are working this out for good somehow some way and god we trust you to do that because we know that you are god and beside you there is no other and so god we just commit this prayer into your hands lord would you just think and smile and pour out your grace and your mercy on young people today, whoever's mm -hmm. on this prayer, but also those who are grieving and wrestling right now. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, Pastor Roy Grant, Beachwood Baptist Church. Uh, first of all, we just want to relay our condolences to the entire family, uh, not just the uh, family, but the entire community of North Preston, uh, for our seniors and from our seniors to our children. 
our, our heart cry out to you uh, this evening. Uh, we know this is devastating. Uh, this goes beyond the norm. Uh, here we are in this Christmas season. Uh, we are supposed to be in a time of joy and rejoicing and thanking Christ for coming into this world. And here we are with a situation which, which is goes beyond imaginable. But let's look to the Lord. Uh, my task this evening is, is to pray for the community. The Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord God. Father, we bring our elders before you. Lord God, we bring our children before you, Lord God. Father, we come, O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is our wonderful counselor, our mighty God, our everlasting Father. Father, we come, O oh Heavenly Father, Lord, coming with heavy hearts, Lord God. We're crying out to you, Lord God, in the midst of these situations, O oh Lord God, is there so much uh, which has unfolded in a short time, Lord. Uh, we're just trying to uh, grasp, O oh Heavenly Father, what is happening uh, in this situation in our world today. But Father, we pray, Heavenly Father, for uh, our children, Lord God, for our community, Lord, for the disruption of lives, oh, Heavenly Father, that our young children have been suffering and seeing over this course of time. Many of them, oh, Heavenly Father, has suffered a significant loss. And, oh, Lord God, we cry out to you, oh, Heavenly Father. Show us, oh, God, how to better minister to them, to provide for them, oh, Lord God, to keep them safe, oh, Heavenly Father, to give them hope, oh, Lord God, in the midst of these trials and tribulation. Lord, help their parents, oh Lord God, just to be able to support them, oh Heavenly Father, in whichever situation that they may see possible, Lord, although the challenges are before them. But Lord God, we know that you are greater than any challenge which lies ahead of any of us. And so, Father, we just continue to cry out to you. Bless our children, oh Lord God. Father, we just come before you, Lord, asking you as our protector, as our shield, as our provider, as our defender. Lord, we just cry, oh Lord God, help us, oh Lord God, for we know that this community right now is crushed, oh Lord God. But Father, we're not broken. And Lord, we thank you for who you are, Lord God, even in the midst of our trial, our storm, our tribulation. May we find comfort and expectation, oh Heavenly Father, just knowing, oh Lord God, that good things are still on the horizon, oh Lord God, uh, for this community. May we as individuals and collectively, Lord God, just be able to join together, oh Lord God, just to do the ultimate thing, oh Lord God, just to provide, but Lord, to be a champion, oh Lord God, for our children and for this community. Give us faith, oh Lord God, in place of despair. Give us resilience, oh Lord God, in place of resignation. Allow us, oh God, even in our anguish, oh Lord God, in our desperation, just to be able, oh Lord God, to, to be able to elate, oh Lord God, the assurance that you have provided for us Lord, comfort us because you are our Heavenly Father. Lord, we pray for unity, O oh Lord God, that it may prevail in our communities. Help us, O oh God, to be instrument, O oh Lord God, of your peace. Help us, O oh God, in this community to be able to come together, to be able to resolve the issues, O oh Lord God, that affects all of us. May we bring, O oh Lord God, our experience and our expertise, O oh Lord God, to the table, O oh Lord God, just to, so that we can be able to solve, oh Lord God, together some of the issue that rises up against us. Help us, oh Lord God, to listen and to be able to have the empathy, oh Lord God, and to be able to brainstorm, oh Heavenly Father, the best the past that will come our way, Lord God. God, you are our refuge. You are our strength. You are our present help, Lord God, in time of trouble. We plead, Lord God, your peace over this community, over the entire HRM, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you will calm the storm of the rage and of the violence, oh Lord God, that is overwhelming in our communities. Father, we just come before you, Lord God, asking, oh God, that you would just take charge and that you would just have your way, Lord God, in the midst of all of this, oh God, we cry out to you. Help us to be able to work together to be able to resolve these issues, oh Lord God, that is triggering anger among us. May we, oh Heavenly Father, who have sinned against others, may we be able to repent, oh Lord God, and ask you, Heavenly Father, to forgive us, O Lord God, so that we can be restored. Help us, O Lord God, even in the midst of, of this storm. Father, we pray for your spirit, O Lord God. We pray for unity. We pray for love. Lord, we pray that your peace, O Lord God, will drive out fear, O Heavenly Father. Lord, we come before you because you are our almighty God. Father, bless us, O Lord God. We pray that you would rain down, Lord God, your spirit over this community, over the city. May we bring peace, O oh Lord, in harmony where there is violence and dissension. May you, Lord God, once again, bring prosperity and hope where there is 
poverty, O Lord God, and despair. May you bless us, O Lord God, and lead us with wisdom and insight where there is confusion and a lack of understanding. May you bless our hearts, O Lord God, with your love and peace and joy in this season, that hatred, O Lord God, would be erased. Father, we pray for those who continue to grieve, O Lord God. Father, may your sovereignty, O Lord God, reign with us. You have commanded us, O God, to love our neighbors as ourselves. Help us, O Lord God, that in these times, Lord, that we as community, that we can come together. And we thank you, Lord God, for the uh, vigil tonight, O Lord God, which you have allowed to happen. Help us, O God, to understand the issues, O Lord God, of other people. Help us, O Lord, during these times, O Lord God, that we can come to you on bended knees, lifting up holy hands, thanking you, O God, even in the midst of this trial, this storm, this situation, even in the midst of this death, this anger, O God, that is before us. Father, we continue to cry before you because you are worthy, O God, and you are holy. Bless us, your people. Bless this family, O Lord God, as they continue, O Lord God, to make preparation for their son. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloved, I was assigned the task of praying for justice in our land. Please join me as we pray together. Fathers, with boldness, that we come before your throne tonight, and we thank you for the authority that we have as your representatives in the earth. God, we pray that your kingdom would come and that your will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, tonight we honor you as a God of justice. You are righteous in all of your ways and there is none like you. God, we thank you that you're more powerful than darkness. You're more powerful than evil and injustice. And so Lord, we ask that you would light up our lives, that you would empower us with the courage to speak up and to fight for what is right. Yes. Father, I pray that we would never cease in praying for your love and your peace and your grace to fill our hearts. But tonight, Father, we pray that justice will come to fruition in this province. We pray for justice tonight, for righteousness, God, for the right things to be done in this situation, that even when our hearts are overwhelmed, we look to you, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, Lord, that you would raise a standard on our behalf. We beseech you in the name of Jesus. God, we acknowledge this senseless, senseless act of violence, but we boldly embrace the work, the fight, the good fight. God, we commit ourselves to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. Mm -hmm. Father, would you strengthen us in our resolve tonight to make this city a city of justice for all? Help us to break the silence, mm -hmm. to address the violence. Yes. Lord, we pray that you would soften the hearts of anyone with information, God that you would loose their lips about information regarding the shooting, that they would contact the investigators. Father, yes. that truth may come to light, that truth may prevail. We pray that people will be brought to justice, that may every law enforcement officer never cease working for a safe and more equitable society. God, we pray protection over our law enforcement. We pray for the residents of Nova Scotia, God, that you would fill our hearts with compassion for one another, that we would promote justice and be effective allies in the advancement and the betterment of your people. May we determine to make a mark tonight, to turn a tide and to push back the darkness because in you, in you there is light. Let us hold fast to what is good and render no man evil for evil. Strengthen us where we are weak. Support us, God, and give voice to the silence. Help the afflicted. We present this mother and this father to you, God. In the name of Jesus, God, yes. honor them tonight as we stand on the right side of history, as we stand on the right side of justice. Give us a boldness and a tenacity and an advocacy to fight. Strengthen us that we won't grow weary. And finally, God, I pray that your love will just speak through us, that whatever we put our hands to, that it will prosper, that we would be the light bearers in this dark world. We pray mm -hmm. this because we know you're able to do more 
that we can even ask or think. Jesus reign in this situation. This is our prayers. We commit the Cain and Simmons family to you. Let your will be done, Jesus. This is our prayer. Amen. Gracious, loving Heavenly Father, as we bring our prayer time to a close, we say thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. Yes. We trust and take confidence in your word, Lord, that declares the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Thank you, Lord, for feeding us with your word. Thank you for encouraging us in our prayer time together. We ask God that you take us and use us to love and to serve you and all people by the power of your Holy Spirit. And let us pray as Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Uh, thank you, uh, everyone, uh, for the prayers. And uh, again, I want to send our condolences from myself and my husband, Dean. And uh, one of the things that we also wanted to do tonight was uh, make some counseling information available for folks to make sure that uh, people are taking care of themselves. And so I will turn it over uh, before we leave um, this session, this prayer session to uh, share Ms. Sharon Murdoch, Davis Murdoch and uh, Robert Wright, who will talk a little bit about um, some of the services that are gonna be available and ready for folks. So thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. And uh, certainly I want to extend our deepest heartfelt condolences to the family. Our hearts are broken, are breaking with you. Um, all the membership of the Health Association of African Canadians, I know would share this, uh, this expression to you. Um, so uh, I do want to say that uh, we have uh, as part of, of our work and the work of, of the uh, COVID uh, initiative that we have um, uh, implemented a uh, black community support line that the Association of Black Social Workers um, is uh, is manning and uh, and that uh, support line is available. Um, the number uh, of the support line, I don't know if someone can help me to put this up somewhere, but the uh, the number of the support line is one eight five five seven three two twelve fifty three. And, uh, and this support line is here to provide resources, supports, and navigation uh, to our people across the province. And uh, the calls are serviced through voicemail and messages will be returned within 12 hours. And certainly uh, my colleagues, um, I know they're here, I've seen them, uh, Deacon Rose, uh, I know that Donna Smith Darrell is with us this evening, Robert Wright, uh, Danielle Hodges with uh, ABSW. We all are uh, working together to support uh, calls that come to that line. We will refer them appropriately to uh, counselors, to, uh, to psychologists if needed, whatever it is that someone needs. And, and I do want to ask Deacon Rose maybe to say a word because we also as part of this work have provided outreach or opportunities for grief support. We want you to know that those services are there and that we are there to catch you. We are here for you. Deacon Rose, maybe you could say a word yes. about that. Uh, this service has been available throughout the COVID uh, since 2020 last year. 
and uh, uh, Sharon already gave the number to contact. And sometimes what, what we tend to do as African Nova Scotians is we have a death. The death happens, the funeral takes place, and we say we're moving on. And often we move on in some sense, but we don't really move on. Um, what helps us is when we deal with our grief, we move through the grief and God heals our hearts. So one of the services that is provided is that, that you don't have to suffer alone. And if there is help, reach out. We're here, ABSW, HAC, AUBA, there is support. And we are so glad. I'm I'm in the family circle, so this is really hard. I see my uncle, uh, Reverend Morton, Pastor Morton, as well. And it's not been easy for our community. There's been three deaths in the Preston Township in the last six weeks, and it's very difficult. But we must find a way to heal our hearts, and there is help available. So that's that's um, that's what we want to make known. There is help available. You don't have to suffer alone. Thank you, thank you, Deacon Rose and and Danielle. I know that you are on uh, on this as well, and uh, I can assure you that there will be people answering that line. Danielle, did you want to say a word about that? Okay. Uh, there you are. Did you want to just just say that we are that we do have people answering the the line, Danielle? You're muted. Sorry, I was trying to unmute myself. Um, so yes, um, the the extension is two um, for the number, the one eight five five seven three two one two five three. The voicemails are being checked daily, um, while our physical office is closed. That that voicemail is being checked, and um, we will we will. Um, <laughs> Uh, navigate for, for the appropriate services based on um, the calls that, that come in. Thank you. All right, so we'd like to maybe have, uh, give you the last word, Angela, or, uh, or to whom you would like to. Thank sure. you so much. Thank you so much, Sharon. And Robert, did you have anything to add? Uh, just that, you know, there is a, a, a network of Black therapists in this province who are standing by so that if people call this number and as they get uh, get some initial support from uh, the folk who are staffing that number, if there's a need for additional support, uh, there is there will be that support available. I always say that counseling can help people do two things, and only two things. Counseling can help you figure things out if you don't ha already have all the answers and counseling can help you change and when we think of tragedies like this uh, we can think of the family that is grieving but we can also think of the many people for whom a moment like this helps them to see that maybe something in their life is not as it should be and that they need to change you should not be afraid to reach out looking for help. We are your community. You are our son, our daughter, our brother, our father, our cousin. Mm. We love you. And we know that your heart is tearing up. Amen. You can reach out for help and we will embrace you and help you. Now, if you've already got it all figured out and you don't need to change, counseling can't help you. But if you want to change if you want to change in your life and you need to seek answers we're here to help you seek those answers so you know call the line the people who staff the line are professionals they know how to keep confidentiality they will navigate you to the help that you need so that's all i would share i've been so blessed by this evening and i 
my heart goes out to the family and I wish you all well and God's richest blessings during this time of grief. Thank you, Robert and everyone. Um, and God bless everyone. And I really do uh, hope and encourage folks to use that line. Um, you know, far too often we don't reach out for help. And so this is an opportunity where we can really counsel with each other. So I, I thank Robert and, and his entire staff, um, the many pastors who came on tonight and the many community members. So I wish everyone well and God bless. And thank you again for supporting me as I uh, could not have done this alone, but with everybody who sits on this line. So thank you everyone and God bless. Amen. Thanks for your leadership on this, Angela. It's much appreciated. Thank, thank you. And everybody involved. Thank you so much. Okay. Blessings. Good night.